really happy that the weekend is here and i have to be honest with y'all this place is so small i'm very grateful for this 800 square foot one bedroom apartment that's nearly impossible to find in the new york city metro area but i need more space my box light just fell it didn't break but a piece of it broke off and that's the second time this has happened because the cords get caught up in either the dining room table chairs or my office chair <sighs> programming update i have not been doing a ton of coding and that's partly because i just enjoy this break it's funny because as a programmer i feel like such a fraud by like going six weeks without doing like hardcore coding which is such a small amount of time considering the fact that i've been programming every week of my life since i was 18 26. i have one goal and before i start my job i want to update my website i want to take a react website that i built from scratch from the ground up and i want to deploy it and replace my squarespace site with my react website one i think it's really easy to have a pet project that's tied to like your personal portfolio the sense of urgency is just higher because it's your website and you want it to look fire so you're not going to drag your feet i'm halfway there i have my website it's deployed on netlify so all i have to do now is transfer my domain name to netlify from squarespace so once i figure that out jossielandj.com will be updated and it's a very very minimal website at Crosby Bar. Been here before and I've always wanted to take Lee so it's a beautiful day to do that. And I'm loving this vlogging camera. It just makes all this so much easier. dinner I'm just gonna walk around because the weather feels incredible like it was really chilly in there at least for me because I've got on very lightweight clothing so when I stepped outside I thought it was gonna be like a little chilly but it's not it's 76 degrees there's a little bit of a breeze it's humid it's like perfect plus I kind of want to walk off this dessert nonetheless Crosby Hotel bar just Crosby bar you come to the city you have to go there even if you're getting drinks they have a phenomenal menu Sure. I actually need to clean up around the kitchen. I honestly feel like if your kitchen is clean, I know how they say like if you have a clean room, you have a clean mind and the rest of your life ends up being in order. I feel the same way about a kitchen, especially when you live in a pretty small apartment like we do or in a really open concept apartment because if your kitchen's dirty in an open concept apartment, everything just feels like out of order. So today's a pretty busy day. We're actually going to take a ferry from Lower Manhattan, Pier 11, Wall Street. I think it's like, yeah, Pier 11. Anyways, we're gonna take Pier 11 to um, Brooklyn because it's a really beautiful day and it's like 90 degrees. So we figured why not take a ferry from Manhattan to Brooklyn. We've never done that. We've only done ferries from Jersey to Manhattan and it'll be really cool to be on the Hudson 
you know, in between Manhattan and Brooklyn where you can see both skylines. And the reason being is because the ferry will take us to, you could either go to like Long Island City or like Greenpoint-ish area. And we wanna do that because we wanna check out neighborhoods that we will potentially be moving to, God willing, at the end of the year. So why not do that? Plus, we're supposed to be linking up with some friends that we went to college with in bed -Stuy. So we figured we'd go from Manhattan to like northern Brooklyn and then we'll take the train or an Uber to bed -Stuy for a cookout. Plus there's this vintage shop that I've been wanting to check out called Amacord in Williamsburg and there's some other vintage shops over there too so kind of more of like a spontaneous visit to Williamsburg for some potential vintage shopping. actually about to take the one from World Trade Center to South Ferry because we want to take a ferry ride from Manhattan to Brooklyn. We've never done that before, but it's so scenic over there and what we would love to take a ferry. the Museum of Modern Art. I was like, oh, I definitely want to link up one more day um, before you head back to Atlanta. And I've always wanted to go to the Museum of Modern Art. I know Lee has too. So it just felt like the perfect thing to do. And we had a great time. Also picked up a MoMA Yankee hat that I've been eyeing for a while, or not necessarily eyeing, observing people with them throughout the city and always like, yo, where do I get that hat from? Then I was like, oh, duh, the Museum of Modern Art. But the Museum of Modern Art was it was incredible. Like all the different venues and rooms and spaces were all so unique. No matter what type of art you're interested in, you're going to see it there. Whether it's like oil painting, abstract art, architecture. Honestly, just the architecture of the building and the surrounding area with the floor to ceiling windows seeing outside in itself was art. With all that said, that wraps up this video. Thank you all so much, especially to all of y'all. Shout out to y'all that made it all the way to the end. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed this vlog type of content. I've been wanting to do more of that instead of just sitting in the house because I live in New York and I know a lot of you all are really interested in looking at what life is like in a major city like this. Plus, it just feels disingenuous to live here and not film vlogs um, around the city because New York is incredible and I came here to make content like that. So I greatly appreciate you all for watching this video and staying all the way to the end. As always, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.